Hello. This video will troubleshoot the scenario when your Crystal Fire Plus manual safety valve burner system will light but not stay lit. Before we start, let's verify the type of burner you have. Crystal Fire Plus manual safety valve systems will all have an ignition system located on the top of the burner that looks like this. Notice that within the actual ignition area, you'll see the tips of the sparker and the thermocouple. For this specific video, your burner should have two rivets holding together the flame guard area as shown here. If your system only has one rivet, you may also have to reference the troubleshooting guide titled Crystal Fire Plus Complete Troubleshooting Guide. You can find this at OutdoorRooms.com under the Product Support tab. All Crystal Fire Plus manual safety valve systems ship standard for use with LP gas. If you are using natural gas, Make certain your burner was converted properly before proceeding. Reference our online video titled Converting Crystal Fire Plus Burner from LP to Natural Gas for more details. Failing to convert or improperly converting your burner will cause nuisance shutdowns. First make sure the gas is turned on to the unit. For LP, make sure the tank is full and the knob is turned to the fully open position. Depress the sparker. Then turn your knob counterclockwise one quarter turn and fully depress the black valve knob. When the flame lights, continue to hold the knob for three to five seconds. Release the knob and the flame should stick. Turn the knob counterclockwise to adjust flame to your desired setting. For Crystal Fire Plus burners that are exhibiting nuisance shutdowns, please follow these steps. A nuisance shutdown is defined as any shutdown that is not initiated by the user. Step one. Make sure when you started the unit that you fully depressed the black valve knob till it could not move further. Partial engagement of the internal components due to partially depressing the knob can cause nuisance shutdowns. Step 2. There cannot be any media installed within the flame guard area. If any media exists in this area, it may cause the unit to shut down. Remove the media from the flame guard area and relight. Step 3. Inspect to make sure your thermal couple is tightly connected to the back of your valve. This is the copper lead that extends from the burner to the back of the valve. You should have assembled this during setup. Use a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten the thermal couple so that just one thread is visible as shown here. More than one visible thread likely means your thermal couple is not tight enough and will cause the burner not to operate properly. Be careful not to over tighten the thermal couple as you could cause damage to the valve. Step 4. Inspect the thermal couple for damage. Small bends like this are typically fine. Any sharp kinks like this will cause the thermocouple to fail and require you to replace the thermocouple assembly. Note that each thermocouple comes from the factory with a flattened area as shown here. This is normal and does not have any effect on the burner performance. Step 5. Verify the thermocouple is not contacting the wind guard in any location. The tip of the thermocouple should be centered in the hole of the wind guard as pictured. Step 6. Inspect the flame on high to see if it is at the normal height. If flame looks low, you may have a clogged orifice or regulator, or may have improper inlet pressure to the valve. Low gas pressure or clogged orifice or burner neck could cause the flame to not be sufficient enough to hit the thermal couple consistently. Step 7. If using crushed glass, move the glass slightly away from the wind guard area and retry. Less air is able to filter through the crushed glass to feed oxygen to the fire. This may cause some nuisance shutdowns. If this solves the issue, place a layer of clear media that shipped with the unit in this area and feather in some crushed glass. If you have completed the above steps and the burner continues to shut down, you likely need a new thermocouple. Order part number VCSV-WG and watch our online video titled Changing the Thermocouple and Sparker for Crystal Fire Plus Burner. For other owner resources, check out our website at OutdoorRooms.com and click the Product Support header. Thank you for assuring our products are installed and serviced in a safe and professional manner.